Imagine for a moment that you could travel back in time and return six million years ago. What would you see? Dense tropical forests covering most of Africa, a climate much warmer and more humid than we know today, and creatures we could barely recognize as our ancestors. It was in this ancestral world that one of the most important species for understanding our own origin emerged, Ardipithecus. This extraordinary creature represents one of the first steps in the long evolutionary journey that brought us here, Ardipithecus. Wasn't exactly like the apes we know today, nor like modern humans. It was something completely unique, a being that lived both in trees and on the ground, with characteristics that mixed the wild animal world with the first signs of what would one day become humanity. When scientists discovered the first fossils of this species in Ethiopia, they realized they were facing something revolutionary concrete evidence of what life was like on our planet millions of years ago. These ancestors had a brain three times, smaller than ours, with about 410 cubic centimeters of cranial capacity. But don't be fooled into thinking they were just ordinary apes. Ardipithecus already showed clear signs that it was developing the ability to walk on two legs, a characteristic that would be fundamental for all subsequent human evolution. This ability to walk upright, even if still in a primitive way, completely differentiated them from all other primates of the time. The discovery of Ardipithecus completely changed our understanding of human evolution. Before, scientists thought our ancestors had evolved linearly, as if it were a staircase with well-defined steps. But Ardipithecus showed that evolution is much more complex and fascinating than we imagined. It proved that millions of years ago, there were already creatures that were both wild and surprisingly similar to us. What makes Ardipithecus even more special is that it represents the exact moment in Earth's history when our evolutionary lineage began to separate from other primates. While other apes continued living exclusively in trees, Ardipithecus began exploring the world in a completely new way. It was the first to take the initial steps that millions of years later would lead to the emergence of humanity as we know it today. The life of Ardipithecus six million years ago was a constant struggle for survival in a rapidly changing world. African forests were undergoing significant climate transformations and these ancestors of ours needed to constantly adapt to find food and shelter. Unlike purely arboreal apes, Ardipithecus developed a unique strategy. It took advantage of both tree and ground resources, creating an evolutionary advantage that would be crucial for its survival. The social behavior of Ardipithecus was probably much more complex than we imagine. Evidence suggests they lived in small groups, cooperating with each other to protect their young and find food. This primitive cooperation may have been one of the seeds of what would later become human society. They shared resources, warned each other about dangers, and possibly even developed basic forms of communication that went beyond the simple sounds other animals made. Ardipithecus's diet was incredibly diversified for its time. While other primates specialized in specific types of food, our ancestors were true food opportunists. They ate fruits from trees, leaves, roots they found on the ground, and occasionally small animals. This varied diet not only helped them survive in difficult times, but also contributed to their brain development, providing the nutrients necessary for them to grow and become more intelligent. The environment where Ardipithecus lived was radically different from what we know today. Africa, six million years ago, was a continent covered by dense tropical forests with flowing rivers and impressive biodiversity. There were animal species we can't even imagine, giant plants, and a climate that favored life in all its forms. 
It was in this primitive paradise that our ancestors began taking the first steps that would lead them to become different from all. Other animals, Ardipithecus's ability to adapt to environmental changes was probably the most important factor for its survival. When forests began to shrink and give way to more open savannas, they didn't disappear like many other species. Instead, they adapted, further developing their ability to walk upright and exploring new territories. This adaptive flexibility became one of the most important characteristics of the human lineage, something we carry to this day. The archaeological discoveries of Ardipithecus tell us a fascinating story about how evolution really works. When scientists found the first fossils in Ethiopia, they were surprised to discover that these ancestors weren't just a primitive version of human beings, but rather a completely unique species with its own special characteristics. The bones showed an extraordinary mixture of ape and human traits, proving that evolution doesn't follow a straight line, but rather complex and fascinating paths. The bone structure of Ardipithecus reveals impressive secrets about how they lived. Their arms were proportionally longer than ours, perfect for swinging in trees, but their legs already showed adaptations for walking on the ground. The pelvis had an intermediate shape between that of an ape and a human, allowing both arboreal, locomotion, and the first bipedal steps. This physical versatility was like having the best of both worlds, agility in trees and freedom to explore the ground. The skull of Ardipithecus gives us important clues about its intelligence and behavior. Although the brain was small compared to ours, it already showed signs of development in areas that would be crucial for later human evolution. The shape of the skull suggests they had better vision than many other primates, and possibly were already beginning to develop pattern recognition skills that would be fundamental for survival in complex environments. The dentition of Ardipithecus tells an interesting story about its diet and lifestyle. Their teeth were smaller and less specialized than those of other primates of the time, indicating a more varied and flexible diet. They didn't have the large, sharp canine teeth typical of aggressive species, suggesting they might have been more cooperative and less violent than other primates. This characteristic may have been crucial for developing more complex societies in the future. What most impresses about Ardipithecus fossils is how they show that human evolution was a gradual and fascinating process. Every bone, every tooth, every fragment found by archaeologists adds another piece to the puzzle of our origin. These discoveries help us understand not only where we came from, but also how characteristics we consider typically human, like cooperation, adaptability, and intelligence, began developing millions of years ago in our oldest ancestors. The importance of our Dipithecus for understanding our own humanity goes far beyond simple scientific curiosity. When we look at these six million year old ancestors, we are literally looking into the mirror of time and seeing the origins of the characteristics that make us unique as a species. The capacity for adaptation, social intelligence, dietary flexibility, and the ability to solve complex problems, all these qualities we proudly call human, actually began developing in them. Studying Ardipithecus also helps us better understand the environmental challenges we face today. Just as our ancestors needed to adapt to drastic climate changes of their time, we are also facing significant environmental transformations. The difference is that now we have science and technology to help us, but the basic need for adaptation and cooperation remains the same. We are, in many ways, still the same adaptive beings our ancestors were millions of years ago. The discovery of Ardipithecus proves that human evolution is an extraordinary success story. Starting from a species that lived in African forests six million years ago, we arrived here exploring space, curing diseases, creating art and technology. 
But all this was only possible because our primitive ancestors had the courage to come down from trees and explore new territories. Every step we take today echoes those first steps taken by Ardipithecus millions of years ago. The legacy of Ardipithecus teaches us that we are part of an incredible lineage of survivors and innovators. No matter what challenges we face in the future, we carry within us the same capacity for adaptation and overcoming that allowed our ancestors to survive and thrive in a primitive and dangerous world. This evolutionary heritage is one of our greatest treasures as a species, and knowing it makes us more aware of our own strength and potential. If you were fascinated by this incredible journey through time and want to discover more about our ancestors and human evolution, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. In upcoming videos, we'll explore other chapters of this extraordinary story that brought us here. Leave in the comments which period of human evolution you'd like to know better, your opinion is very important to us. And share this video with your friends, because knowing our origins is something everyone should know. Until the next adventure in time.